Hi, my name is Jane. I'm a reference archivist here at the Arizona State Archives. I'm going to be discussing some of our uh, records dealing with women's suffrage. The Constitutional Convention for the Arizona Constitution took place in October 1910, 110 years ago this year. The original Constitution does not include women's suffrage, but they did discuss it um, during the convention. So we do have it open to a page um, where they're actually arguing against women's suffrage. This is correspondence between um, suffragists, so uh, dating between 1909 and 1916. This postcard was written by Laura Gregg to uh, Reverend Anna Shaw. They were part of the National American Women's Suffrage Association. So Gregg is just uh, communicating to Shaw that she is working in Arizona. She was in the Verde Valley and she writes, uh, and getting good committees. So what she was doing is she was actually organizing uh, women in Arizona to form committees to uh, voters for women's suffrage. Uh, the next one I have is uh, written to Reverend Shaw, uh, who was the president of the National American Women's Suffrage Association. It's written by Frances Willard Munns. She was from Prescott and she uh, was part of the Women's Christian Temperance Union and also the uh, Arizona Equal Suffrage Campaign Committee. So this uh, correspondence here, she's actually thanking Shaw for sending Laura Gregg uh, to help organize uh, in her community. This document here is the general election results for 1912. So it actually gives the election results by county and also the total, and then it gives the for and against votes. So for women's suffrage in Arizona, the total uh, pro-women's suffrage votes are 13,442, and the against votes are 6,202. We are in one of the pods where we store all of the records. Um, they are kept at a consistent temperature and humidity. Um, these are called environmental controls and it helps to preserve the records over long periods of time. Um, I'm going to open up the shelves. We're going to look at some uh, petition signatures uh, for the uh, women's suffrage ballot. Uh, we use this rolling shelves because it actually doubles our capacity for storage. Uh, we don't have to accommodate space for aisles in between each shelf. Um, this is the initiative petition signatures for the women's suffrage ballot for 1912. So this is this is a pretty big document. It's filled with signatures. They're all men's signatures because uh, women didn't have the vote yet. 